I found art as a, as a way of um, escaping what was going on around me. Sometimes it's spiritual for me. Ever since I was a, a child, it's, um, it's made friendships for me. It's been my medicine. As an artist, I'm inspired by the resiliency of our Indigenous communities and also celebrating the next generation. I did not see anything about women, anything about children. And I thought, you know what? I'd like to inspire that we are important. Hi, I'm Jackie Travers. I'm from the Anishinaabe Nation. I'm a visual artist, um, but I do a lot of different types of mediums, like I do printmaking, uh, mixed media, painting, drawing, just a creative person. My name is uh, Iris Lozon. I'm from Churchill, Manitoba. I'm a designer. I build clothes. Like they're forms of art that we wear to express what's going on in our life or what's going on around us. Dance, Gail Sinclair and Desini Gasson, Guna Seisi Bigotse Norway House, Cree Nation. I'm a visual artist. I always drew, I always did sketches, and then I was introduced uh, by my mother. She introduced me bringing home paints, canvases, paint brushes, you name it. Anin, uh, Nishnikaz, Jamie, Isaac, Dodem, Sagin, First Nation. So I am a curator of Indigenous and contemporary arts, and I'm also an artist of interdisciplinary uh, practice. So everything from public art to film to sculpture and painting. For women in art, our Indigenous women in art, uh, they're there is not much of a history. We weren't recognized. When I was in art school, like they never taught us anything about indigenous art, period. But I always wondered, like, where's the women artists? Working in the museums and um, seeing the disparity of how many uh, indigenous women arts um, are held in these collections is oftentimes atrocious. And if there are, they are unattributed, unidentified, unnamed. And you'll see most collections are attributed to um, white male uh, artwork. I know there's been designers way like 1800s, but you look at all the history books, like there's no uh, mention of uh, the women's names. Uh, it's mainly uh, the wife of so-and-so. Well, I think, um, you know, both as a curator and an artist, the recognition of women haven't been honored or recognized in institutions or rather relegated to craft uh, in museums and any kind of beadwork or sort of ancestral or traditional or customary practice wasn't looked at as fine arts. Oh, maybe. 20 years ago that um, clothing design wasn't really considered art and now, now it's considered art because it is art like you're, you're taking something right from uh, scratch like you're you're bringing something to life like I've had to kind of like fight for my place you know to to be who I am and to get recognized and to have my work seen even, you know, and to be, for my work to be appreciated because the simple fact, you know, they, people assume, well, you're, you're not gonna be any good, you know? And it was around like early 2000s that I discovered Gail Sinclair's work. And I was just like so happy to finally see a, a woman pa painter, you know? And I was like, yes, that means there's, there's room for me. I fought my way through for the doors to open uh, because a large percentage of uh, artists were men in my time and I was over uh, like 30 years ago. When I started out uh, probably in 95 there wasn't uh, a lot of uh, designers out like I didn't really have um, anyone to uh, 
like ask but yeah I'm seeing a, a big change like there's uh, there's a lot of designers now and uh, we're making uh, statements through what we wear as a curator as an indigenous curator I, I think that there is a responsibility uh, for people working in these institutions to right the wrongs of that history and uh, work towards attributing um, that kind of work, the customary work, the, the ancestral skills, um, to, a place of, to a place of honor and respect. I think that if anybody was to come into these places, let's say a hundred years from now, they would be like, but where's the women? Was it women weren't creating or like, why is it all male dominated? Like, so right now it's like this for the men, the women, right? They need to, they need to work on that and make it fair and don't be a part of that history that erases us. Traditionally, um, indigenous women really are, you know, pillars of, of art culture and, and language and holding space for the next generation. They're the ones that are holding each other up. It's the women that are the caregivers. They're, they really, really use the, the money they do make to look after the children, to build homes and, you know, to raise families. So like that, when you support a woman artist, you're not only supporting her, you're supporting her children, her grandchildren, and that money's going back out into the community in a good way. For many years we've been on the sidelines, working really hard, and it's time. It's time for um, women to be recognized for, for everything that they do. Like, and it inspires uh, the next generation coming up. That's why I think it's so important. I'd like to see it worldwide. I'd like us to be heard. We have a lot to say because we carry a lot of teachings. And for us to bring it on to visual arts, even clothing, jewelry, we're amazing, you know, as people. And we need to be recognized. <laughs>